guys, Tony here, and welcome back to yet another tutorial. Now, I kind of want to go through the commander security with you guys, and on how simple it is to use and stuff. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and just just do it with you guys. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, tell you guys what you can use with the commander executor. Um, well, basically, in your main class, if you don't want commands to be in there, you can create a commander executor for every single command, like slash feed. Uh, you could create like a different class for that slash um, here. You could create a different class for that instead of having it all merged into the main class. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much really helpful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do me dot tut dot commands um, as a package. I'm just gonna put test. Um, actually, you know what could we have a command as legend? Simple. Pretty simple enough. Actually, you know, um. Mm, something. Yeah, go ahead. We'll go. We'll go with legend. It's. Well, I don't know. Let's send them a message or something. I don't know. Um, and inside of here, first thing we want to do is go ahead and implement. Um, implement command executor. Um, we want to go ahead and obviously link it back to the main class. So main plugin public legend main instance. Plugin equals instance. And obviously, you control shift and L to import everything that is necessary. Now, where it says legend, add unimplemented methods that will stop us doing this ourselves. And here, where it says auxiliary, you want to put sender. Here is CMD. Here is a like command label or even label itself. And here would be augs. Um, so, yeah. Now, I kind of want to. You know, clear something up with you guys. Um, you don't need to only use command dot get name. You could literally use command label or even just label dot get name. Uh, label equals. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys. So like if label dot equals ignore case. Um, you know, you could use that instead of cmd dot get name. Um, dot equals ignore case. So basically, yeah. Uh, the let in, in a sense, I guess the label is the easiest way. So if you want to go ahead and use that, you can go ahead and do so. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use it just for this tutorial. Um, so yeah, and we're going to make sure that the sender is an instance of a player. And to get that, we need to go ahead and do player p equals player as a sender. Um, so yeah. And add return statement, it would have already returned that, but because we didn't go ahead and put down a specific bracket, that's why we had that little error. Um, so return true, because you always need to go ahead and return true. Go ahead and open up the if statement. Um, and that's pretty much that. So I'm just going to go ahead and send them a message to begin with. So, hello legend. Um, so that's pretty much that. And in our main class, we're going to go ahead and add something called public void register commands. And uh, inside of here, we want to go ahead and put. So you want to go ahead and put get command. Uh, this will be the command that it will be searching for. So we called our legend. Then set executor. And we want to go ahead and do new legend. And this. Um, and just go ahead and import legend and boom save it what's wrong okay so that one up there didn't work for some strange reason um, did we call something wrong I don't know by the way uh, plugin equals instance let's go ahead and main plugin no idea why that didn't work. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm, I must have wrote something wrong. Anyway, uh, export next. Finish. Yes. Okay. And if we go ahead now and launch the server, again we shouldn't get any errors because there wasn't any errors to begin with. Well, before we even decompiled it. No, not decompiled it. Exported it. So as you can see, it's done, it's been enabled, so we can go ahead and join our server. And if we went 
Now it would actually help if I believe this isn't going to work. So if this less legend, yeah, that ain't gonna work. Uh, is that got anything to do with it not being inside of the plugin that I'm on? Probably. So let's go ahead and actually put it inside of here. I'm gonna have to go ahead and install, uh, uh, open it up in text editor because I don't want to do anything wrong. And I'm gonna go ahead and just change this to legend. You are a legend as the description as well. Just for stuff, you know, stuff for stuff. Uh, export. Yes, okay. There we go, legend slash legend. Uh, we returned it as true. And the reason why we were getting the error is because we didn't go ahead and register our commands. Um, so that would have been helpful if we actually went ahead and did that. So, boom. So, legend. Hello, legend. And yeah. Um, that is that. Um, next episode, I will be teaching you guys how to add potion effects to players. Um, so, yeah. Uh, obviously, the, it's the way that I do it. So, it will probably be totally different um, to ways that other people can do it. Um, by potion effects, I'll probably only be like sprinting or something. I'm not really sure. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time. See you guys.